everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm going to be bringing you a Drizzle Me Skinny recipe, and it is Creamy Everything Bubble Up Chicken. I think that's the name. If it's different, I'll, um, I'll let you know as soon as I start giving you the list of ingredients and we get started on the recipe. So it's a casserole type. Um, if you've tried any of her Bubble Up recipes, they're super good. So I'm gonna turn you around, let's get this recipe started because that's my dinner tonight and I am going to enjoy that. Now I am going to cut this recipe in half because of the fact that I am home alone tonight and my husband is up north. <laughs> so I'm gonna just cut, cook half of it and then I'll have some for lunch tomorrow. So I'm gonna give you the full ingredients and again, I'll always put the link to the recipe in the comments but there's no reason for me to make six servings of that tonight. So let's um, turn you around and get started. Okay, for this recipe, if we were doing a full recipe, we would need one seven and a half ounce package of biscuits. And what you're looking for is these 99 cent biscuits. I mean, maybe they're two for a dollar. Um, <laughs> they used to come in a pack that was like four for a dollar or four for a dollar fifty. So you just want the regular the regular um, 10 biscuits, and just make sure that it has here the 7.5 ounce package. Okay, so we have that. We need four ounces of softened cream cheese, and I'm using the fat-free cream cheese here. And I went ahead and put it in the microwave because of the fact that it was not softened and I'm kind of getting hungry, so we're just gonna speed it along. Four teaspoons of everything seasoning. Um, I have the one here from Trader Joe's. You can pick this up just about anywhere these days. Two cups of shredded chicken, and I'm taking a shortcut and using my canned chicken. So two cups cooked shredded chicken. Make sure I say that right, because cooked is the key factor on that one. A third cup of fat-free sour cream. Um, I don't have any sour cream, but I do have some Faye yogurt here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that because it tastes like sour cream to me. And then a quarter cup of fat-free ranch dressing. So I have my ranch dressing back there and it's not quite the fat-free, but it is the light, but beans how I'm using the yogurt, the points will zero each other out. So we'll be okay there. Calls for five slices of cooked crumbled center cut bacon. Um, I am, <laughs> I'm the queen of shortcuts today, people. So I have this real crumbled bacon, it's already cooked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And a half cup of reduced fat shredded cheese. And I just have this here brand from Kroger. All right, so let's start throwing this baby together and get dinner in the oven. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is preheat our oven to 375, which I've already done. Then you wanna spray your pan with cooking spray. So I'm gonna get that on. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here. Do you guys notice I have my Toledo Mud Hens shirt on? It's a little chilly here in Michigan, so um, I had to layer up a little bit today. And you guys know that I love the Toledo Mud Hens, so I have lots of gear from them. All right, so we've got that done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our biscuits and we're going to cut each of these biscuits into six. Now, since I'm only making half of these, Hold on. I'm always afraid that's gonna pop when I'm not ready. It's okay if it pops when I'm ready. I know I'm gonna make you guys cringe, sorry. Hopefully you guys don't can't see what I'm doing. There it goes. I struggle with these biscuit cans. I don't know what it is. It's just, I always struggle with them. So I'm gonna cut five of these into six pieces. The easiest way to do this is you cut it here and then you just cut it in thirds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these done. I'll speed the camera up so you don't have to watch this whole thing slowly. That's our five, and if you caught that, I had to count them to make sure that I had all five of them done. 
All right, so I'm gonna set these aside and I might just go ahead and bake those and save those for tomorrow. Not sure, if we, uh, do you think if, if I didn't bake them, let me know in the comments if those, if I just stuck them in like a baggie, if they would still be good tomorrow. I've never done that. I've always just baked them and then just reheated them the next day. All right, so I'm just gonna spread those out so that they're kind of even on the bottom of the pan. So in a bowl, we're gonna mix up our cream cheese, sour cream, ranch dressing, and chicken. So that seems pretty easy. I've got a bowl here. We've got our cream cheese. Which I just noticed now I have four ounces of cream cheese in there and I only need two. So I'll pull half of that out. Okay, so I removed that other half of that. So we got about two ounces in there. So for the sour cream, we would need one third cup of fat-free sour cream. I am going to eyeball that because I think it'll just be easier. So I'm going to do one sixth of a cup. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Put that in there. And then we're going to need an eighth of a cup of ranch dressing. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in there. Eyeball that. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead and mix this together. And then after I get this mixed together, I'm just going to set this off to the side. After I get this mixed together, then I'll add the chicken. I think it might be easier to get that cream cheese incorporated there. I don't know if you've ever worked with cream cheese, but it never wants to. Kind of mix together super easy. It's one of those things you almost have to just get your mixer out for. But this one, since I heated it, it seems like it's going to be okay. All right, we've got that in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our chicken. I've already just drained this chicken, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in there. Get rid of the can. We're going to mix this in. And I use this chicken when I make my buffalo chicken dip, too, and it just turns out wonderfully. I mean, it just it, it's really good. Sometimes when I don't have a lot of time, I'll also use it for my um, chicken salad. So it does come in handy for a few things, you know, that you can do differently with it. And um, if you haven't checked out my buffalo chicken dip, it is amazing, just amazing. So I'll link that below so that you can find that one really easy. All right, so we're gonna have extra chicken in this because since I'm halving it, we only needed to have four ounces of chicken. I'm just really totally, <laughs> I'm having fun with this recipe for sure. All right, so we'll have extra chicken, chicken zero point, so that's okay, it'll just be super chickeny. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put in two teaspoons of the everything seasoning, which means we only need one teaspoon, into this mixture. Let's see if I can get this top off here. I think I've only ever used this with the shaker top. I've never actually measured anything out and used it. So, all right, one teaspoon of that. Just shake that right in there. I'm gonna leave that top off because I think I'm gonna need more in a little bit. All right, so we have that stir well. We're gonna put that on the biscuits. We're gonna sprinkle another teaspoon on top, which means I'll do a half a teaspoon on that. And then we're going to throw it in the oven. All right, that seems pretty easy. All right, so let's get this mixed up. We're going to throw this right on top of our biscuits. Try to spread it around. I think it's easier just to spread it around before you put it on versus trying to spread it around on top of the biscuits. We're just gonna, the biscuits are gonna move and it won't be so even. All right, that's our oven saying it's preheated, so we are right on time. All right, so that's good. Let's set this back here in the background. I'm gonna add in that half a teaspoon of the 
everything season, seasoning on top, and I'm just gonna shake some of that on there. Okay, that looks good. All right, just making sure we didn't do anything wrong. We sprayed our pan, we cut our biscuits. In the bowl, we put our cream cheese, sour cream, ranch dressing, and chicken, and added the everything seasoning. We stirred it, we spooned it on the biscuits. We put a little bit more on top. Now we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes. And then after that, we will finish the next couple of steps. So hang tight, we'll see what happens next. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Our chicken and biscuits are looking really good. Next up, we have to add in a quarter cup of cheese. Again, if you're making a full recipe, that would be a half a cup. I think that's gonna be plenty for this size dish. And then, we called for five slices of cooked crumbled center cut bacon. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And I'm gonna put two tablespoons on it. Look at that. You cannot go wrong with cheese and chicken and bacon and biscuits, right? All right. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this back in the oven and then I will come back at you and show you the final product. We just need to throw this back in for 10 more minutes, so hang tight. I might put it in for five because again, I have a very small pan here, but I'll test that out and like I said, I'll come back and show you the final product. Okay, our bubble up creamy chicken, everything chicken is done. Um, before I threw this in the oven, I realized I was supposed to put a little bit more of that everything seasoning on it, so I sprinkled that on and went ahead and threw that in the oven. So it took about seven minutes in the oven. I'm gonna pair that with some green peas and some hominy. So I'll take a picture of my plate when I'm done. And with that said, I am going to wrap this up so I can eat this while it's hot. So don't forget, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of upcoming videos as I post them. And also, always give me a thumbs up if you like today's video and if you're excited to give this recipe a try. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna eat and we'll um, see ya. <laughs>